Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about something Apple has just announced, which is don't put your iPhone in rice if it gets wet. Now, this is a popular thing that most people in the past growing up probably knew. Hey, if your phone gets wet or gets liquid, just put in a bag of rice or a bowl of rice to dry it out. But Apple specifically just released a new statement, basically article saying exactly not to do that, which is kind of something to talk about here because this is something definitely interesting. Right here, you'll see in this article that I'll leave a link for it in the comment section is basically don't put your iPhone in a bag of rice. Now, their reasoning is because if you do so, small particles of rice will damage your iPhone. Now, do you agree with it or not? That's entirely up to you. But the reason why they're saying is basically when you have rice, right, there's particles and if it gets inside your phone, it could potentially damage it even more. Now, what can you do if your iPhone does get wet or liquid in it? Well, they do recommend a couple things here, which again, you want to follow against here to dry your phone is first of all, if it's wet, dry it off with a microfiber cloth or something and leave it in a dry area with some airflow. Now, give yourself about 30 minutes or so if you're using uh, for lightning charging or USB-C cable charging. Don't just charge it right away. If it's wet, let it dry it out. Keep it up tight or upright like this where the water can actually flow downwards through the thing instead of on a flat side where it'll stay. So if you leave it upright like that, it will can get the water out of the holes here. And if you can, if you leave it for 24 hours to fully dry it before you charge, that's the best thing. And again, it's saying that if you experience, if you try to connect the charger and it still gives you that warning message where your liquid is detected in the charge port or there's charging is not available, just wait it out till you can safely charge again. Most phones are waterproof and the water should come out and it should work if it didn't get submerged like deep down in some ocean or basically if it didn't have a crack or anything like that. If your phone does have a crack because the front and the back are glass, most likely it will be compromised and the internal part will be damaged. You might consider like Apple protection plan or something like that. But basically this is what Apple is going at. So basically don't put your iPhone in a bag of rice. Now I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys agree or disagree with this statement? Leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.